When I, when I enlisted, they uh, offered me three places to be assigned. So I volunteered to go to the Philippine Islands. And I was enthused about this because I was going to see the world. And I was even going to get a pay increase. We were united. We never lost a battle. We got down to the point where they had sent 20,000 fresh troops up from Singapore, 3,000 miles south, back all the way to take us. But that didn't stop us. They, they give us twice. They sent us through the air uh, surrender tickets. One of them was that uh, to uh, kill your leaders and come forward with a little white flag and you'll be nicely taken care of. We were, our odds against us was 10 to 1. After 100, or, uh, 100, 100 days of almost hand to hand, trying to hold them back, we um, couldn't do it. Everything was cut, they surrounded us. Ammunition was low. We were so sick we couldn't walk. I weighed 117 pounds, six foot one, and all that. I had survived all the way through uh, that fighting. The um, three weeks in the hospital under prison. Then I was transferred six months to Bilibid, which was nothing but rotting bodies. And I was there six months. Then I was transferred up to Cabana de Juan. You've probably seen that story yes. about the rescue of Cabana Juan. Yes. I was in that camp one and a half years. And then I was fit for duty. And here I'm on a crutch, walking on my heel, weighing 117 pounds, dysentery, malaria, and I was fit to go to duty in, in a uh, steel mill in uh, Japan. So I shipped down in the hell ship. We didn't sink, but a lot of them did. And uh, got there, and then for two years, I hobbled up and down one mile. Morning, I go up to the steel mill and come home at night. Well, during those uh, year and a half there, we were sleeping on a platform with one blanket. No pillow, no nothing. And uh, I was sick and terrible and, you know, well here they had a free wheeling on us, you know, it was uh, 72 mile march. Oh, well, if you've seen pictures in that, it, uh, uh, it's a lot worse than what you've ever read or ever seen. It was at least six times that I gave myself to God. You know, some six times I woke up. Because I still believed in putting that flag back up on that pole and let nobody ever take it down again with rifle butts and bayonets. They'll do it through me being on the straight out on the ground in front of them because they'll have to kill me to get there. You better believe we were American soldiers. <laughs>